It's just sad that this happened. A troubling trend in one Kansas City suburb. Two tragic fires since Saturday morning, one claiming the life of a 12 year old boy. This afternoon's fire takes a man's life, according to firefighters, bringing this year's total in independence to four. One longtime firefighter believes that's the highest number of deadly fires in a year for that city. Fox 4 Sean McDowell working for you now live off South Alexander Road, where the neighbors say they just can't believe this latest heartbreak. And Lauren, of those four deadly fires you're talking about from this year, two of them have taken the lives of children, according to the fire department. This string of deadly fires from 2024 has really taken a mental toll on first responders and independents. And the fire chief, one of them certainly with the Independence Fire Department, points to a simple purchase that he recommends that every home has. It's proven to save lives, too. Our hearts go out to them. Busy firefighters have come to the rescue twice since this weekend for house fires that have resulted in deaths. On Monday morning, Independence fire engines were called to this home off South Alexander Road, east of 291 Highway. A spokesperson for the fire department says his crew could see smoke when they arrived and they didn't discover anyone inside the home during their first sweep. Firefighters believe this fire started in the home's garage. Independence Battalion Chief Eric Michael says a man's body was discovered during their second look. Next in crews went in and did a, did a search of the house and, and it came up negative. They didn't find anybody inside. So they went into extinguishment and overhaul operations and then they did find a deceased party. Further west, neighbors are mourning the loss of a 12 year old boy after a Saturday morning house fire. Homeowners near East Salisbury Road and North Rogers Street were awakened by first responders around 3 a.m. Firefighters found a 12 year old boy's body in a back bedroom. A fire department spokesperson says the child died from smoke inhalation. Mike Ford lives across the street. He says this loss of a child is heartbreaking. Yeah, we were all out here this morning with the kids at the bus stop. And I don't think some of them even knew yet. So all the moms and dads were out here. Chief Michael says that home had no working smoke detectors. He cites research showing the alarms can sound within 16 seconds of detecting smoke if they're well maintained. Inspectors from the Missouri State Fire Marshal's Office are at this home in Independence that we mentioned earlier. Also, the cause of both these fires, Lauren, including the one from early Saturday morning, they're being investigated now to try to find the cause. Sean McDowell, live in Independence. Thank you, Sean.